Okay. All right, guys. Good morning. Happy Saturday, May 18th. We're through the home stretch of May. That's what I got to say. Um, so welcome to the Zoom. I'm so excited and um, that we're getting to finish this book and, and talk about it with each other and then also start a new book. I'm excited about the new book because, you know, all of the Olsons talk about it and I'm just excited to see and I like the author. So it's good to get started on a new book. I feel like we're on this for a while. Um, but I want to say that I'm super proud of you guys for being on this Zoom, for doing the do with this group, for being a part of it, for putting this as a priority in your schedule, um, making it happen with each other and helping each other out. And um, I just want to thank you guys for doing that because it, it makes all the difference in the world for everybody. And, and I'm just excited and proud that you guys are all part of this. Um, 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 we'll start with this. And so let's see, I mean, we'll talk about this last chapter and then we'll just kind of summarize just what you guys got out of the book or how it helped you or any kind of tidbits of what it did for you. So this last trait relationships, I mean, we all know that, you know, we're, we're constantly told about having the right people in our life. We're constantly told, you know, that you, the, the, the five people you hang around with the most are the people that, I don't know that whole say that Jim Rohn says, but we all are told that all the time. And I would say we probably all have done a good job of getting the negative people out of our lives and the people who drag us down and drain us of energy. And I mean, I know I have in the past six years, um, and there are, but I still have some, like, that's the other thing. I still have, like, my very good friend from grammar school. I mean, when she comes to visit me, she drains me of all of her negative and she's just, she drains me, <clears throat> but I'm not going to get rid of her in my, out of my life, but I'm also not going to hang out with her every day. <laughs> and when I do visit her, I keep my visits limited because she just is draining. And, but she also needs me and she knows, she says to me, I need to talk to you as your, as that positivity and that person who looks at the brighter side of things. So there's times when that happens, but I know that there's some people who, you you just don't need them. I've had people where you just don't need them. Like, no, sorry. Nice knowing you. Sorry, I got to go. Um, and that's unfortunate. But at least in, in when I was young, like before, I would think that before my personal development, I always thought that wasn't very nice. And you just have to have, um, like, just allow it. And it's okay. They're just different. You know, and they talk about this in this chapter. I used to think it was okay. But when I started doing my personal development, I realized that it was okay to let them go. And I didn't realize, like in the, when I was younger, I just always accepted it and let people be in, let everybody. But as I know in the past six years, if it's not a, if it's not a match relationship or friendship, then it's like, yeah, I, I'm, I got I'm busy over here. And I, I would always focus. Now I focus on what I need to grow with not decline with, you know what I mean? So it took me a while though, it took, it, because I want everybody in my life. I, I think I'm supposed to be a part of everybody's life. <laughs> they may not think so, but I think so. Um, but you know, it's just, it's good to hear just having those temperature controls of the people in your life. And, you know, and, and, and like with my sister and I, it's tough sometimes with our mom when she's negative and, you know, but that's also, that's not somebody you're going to get rid of, but it's also where I go into the house and I know okay, what's going to come out of her mouth today, but let's just go with it and don't take it personal. So when I'm told things that I know aren't personal, like that are not true, I don't take it personal. I just walk away. It kind of just like, when they say that duck, it just rolls off my back. So I love the way that she talks about that. And then in business though, when she talks about in business, like with our business, we're going to have those negative Nelly brand partners that join and you sometimes, and, and sometimes they need that grace in the beginning to get the personal development so that they can grow because they may not even realize who they are and what they are. So you give them that grace period, in my opinion, and then if they can't change, then guess what? They're not going to be successful in the business. They're not going to be successful with us and they're just going to fall off the wayside. And that's happened too. I've seen that in the business too. Um, but I like to see, I like a, one of the things I highlighted, it's okay if you don't get from point A to point B my way, the highway is big enough. There are plenty of other roads for all of us to get to the same destination. She's just so real. <laughs> She's just like, she just says what she feels, you know, and I, I really do like this woman and, and I, I will tag her 
after our thing until we finally finished her book, but she likes all of our posts. So, um, but with, you know, with our, with our relationships in the business, you know, time builds trust and trust, trust builds good relationships. I think that we know how to do that as a team. I know we know how to do that as a collective group of people. So um, it's, it's, it's just cool to see that. So anybody else want to share on the relationship part? Kathy, Catherine, Catherine, just um, on, go first, Catherine. So I, I have to absolutely, completely, with all my heart, agree with everything you said because about getting people out of your life that really don't, well, I, I don't know if I should say don't deserve to be in your life, but that negativity, and I have to really give personal development 100% credit for that. I mean, yes, I made the decision, but without personal development, I would not have had the, I don't want to say courage, but the okay to eliminate people out of my life that were negative. Mm -hmm. And once I did that, you know, of course I felt absolutely horrible. I felt like the worst person in the world. Like, how can you do that? But then I, I had to I realized that I had to do it for me. Mm -hmm. And and I know that <clears throat> I'm really guilty of helping somebody else before I help myself. And um and so I'm actually a lot better about helping myself now because of personal development, but I have to say that once I got certain people out of my life, um it made a huge difference, a huge difference and and building relationships is is just part of what we do. And, and I don't think I would be building the relationships with people that I've lost track of if it weren't for this, for the, for personal development and, and, and our group, you know, because this group has really brought certain books into my life that mm -hmm. I probably, you know, maybe somewhere down the road, I would have, you know, latched onto them. But I mean, this, again, thank you for, putting our group together and including me because I, you know, I have to say that it's really changed in so many positive ways in my life. And, and I, I'm, you know, I, I don't know how people can go without personal development. You know, once they, once they, once they get hooked, they're there, line, hook, line and sinker. And, and um, so, yes, I, I love this book because it touches on every trait touches on what we do. Right. And, and it's just, um, I feel very blessed. I feel grateful and I love all of you guys. And, and I'm just so, I'm just so grateful that, and, and blessed and fortunate that I have all of you as part of my family. And I just, I couldn't be without you. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's just, <laughs> Kathy, Kathy's about to go on the dog knows. Um, I, I, it's just, it, it, I agree with you with everything that you said too, because it's all, it's all, it's all supposed to be, that's all I got to say. This is all supposed to be. So I'm glad that Linda, mm -hmm. you know, told me, encouraged me to do this. I, and I'm, I, I think we're going on a year because I think we started it because we were right. We did Christmas together. So I think we started it maybe September, August, September. I don't know if anybody remembers or maybe right after Vegas. So I think it's almost been a year that we've been together. So the longest relationship I've been in. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Kathy, your turn. I, I unmuted you. Go ahead. Um, I thought it was very interesting when she was talking about auditing people out of your life. Um, I had, <clears throat> had done that prior to Neora um, and personal development, and I didn't know I was doing it. Um, however, I had someone who was just very negative and I broke off that relationship and I'm happy to say that that person is now back in my life with a completely different perspective. Oh, so, good. yeah, so that's really good. Um, but I still do have, uh, someone in my life that like you were saying, Monique, I feel like she needs me. Um, so I'm not willing to audit that person out of my life mm -hmm. um, because I feel the relationship has a purpose. Mm -hmm. So we, ha I think we have to take each relationship separately and look at it, you know, like what is its purpose? Mm 
Um, you know, we have a lot of relationships that are business related. Um, and they're there for a reason, but they might not always, um, even though they're a business relationship, they might not always give us what we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're still there for a reason. Right. right. Yeah. And I like that part of the relationship um, chapter two is that there are some people you don't want to have in your life because they challenge you and because they, yeah. you know, and, and you want to, you're like, oh, I don't want that person in my life. But then how it says, well, no, you need that person in your life because you need that challenge so you can grow in the area that you're weak in. So there's a purpose. There's a purpose. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I think it's great that we, 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 um, have that balancing act with it. You know, we have to, we know where, like, you just know that one person who just, you don't need, you're fine with never speaking to them again, ever. <laughs> and you're okay with that. And you move on and they probably, you know, good luck to them. But then you have those people like we just talked about. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting. There's a, there's a, there's just that balancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Anybody else have anything? Go ahead, Robin. Okay. So my mother, says that I have a knack and the way she puts it literally is I throw away people and I don't since I've moved so many times in my life I have learned to make friends easily and if they're mean I don't need them and I have no problem writing off somebody who either really makes me feel bad because that makes them feel good is mm -hmm. really cruel, can't work with that. And so I just, okay, you go live your life over there. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I, I don't need this. Mm -hmm. And so my mom often, it's somebody she likes because they're different with her than they are with me. So she'll yell at me, why did you throw them away? You need to call them like, no mom, you don't get it. Mm -hmm. they were sucking the life out of me and it's not fair mm -hmm. it's not fair to have a relationship that's always one-sided and that one side isn't always good so that does not serve you right so you need to get just you don't gotta kill them just move <laughs> them over to the side <laughs> <laughs> so i do understand that and i have always done that kind of weirdly <laughs> yep i i'm i'm right there with you i mean like there are been people in my life like if you hurt me ooh, if you hurt me or lie to me i'm sorry you cannot explain your way out of it like you can hurt me and lie to me and you cannot explain your way out of it and uh, bye bye see you later and then they're like wait what happened i didn't even get to explain no you don't no lose my number i'm out and people have asked me how can you just like cut them off very easy you you hurt me, my family. You lie to me. Any you're done. Out. I have no. I have, nope. No. There, there's no grace. So yeah, I understand that too. And then you know, and then sometimes I have to look at myself and say, was that really necessary? Was like, and then I'm, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was real. <laughs> it was necessary. Um, anybody else? I think Lori, you un un video took your video off. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Um. I thought the relationship chapter was very interesting. And what, when I think about what I want to share with you all, it's really how we can apply it to our business. And how, what could you take away from each person's experience? So I, I want to I wanna share a, a few things. Um, the world that I'm living in right now has been extremely challenging, extremely challenging. The people that I work with, the mindset that is around me for more than 10 hours a day. And lately I've been putting in 10 hour days. and It's not been easy for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I have looked at in terms of the relationships in my day job, it's critical to have relationships politically and in different departments for us to advance whatever agenda our boss is putting on us. And with this new CEO, and I'm going to share this with you because I need you to understand where I'm coming from. The new CEO that we have is a, is a result-oriented woman, first female African-American as a CEO for a railroad. She has a hell of a lot to, to prove for a lot of reasons, but she's bestowing her agenda onto us in a pressure. 
her environment. And I am challenged to have a good relationship with her because I don't do well with dictators. I don't do well with people that put me down and tell me it's always wrong. So with that said, my personal development has truly helped me to look at the situation as a lot of you have shared that we're supposed to go through this because there's something greater for us to deal with. And I really look at it as an opportunity to deal with difficult personalities in my team. Like, oh, I'm going to have an opportunity to deal with different personalities on my team where I have to rise above and I have to be courageous and dare to be courageous like the next book I'm going to read. So it's been tough for me um, as a child, similar to Robin, I think I did the same thing. I threw people away a lot of my life and I was disappointed very young in my life. So I learned how to stay in a real safe lane. <clears throat> we can't pick our family members, but we have to deal with them. And, you know, I have a lot of differences with my siblings. I have a lot of differences with my mom. And then I have a lot of similarities with my mom. So it's been challenging, but we have to love them where they're at. Um, relationships is it's, it's probably been one of the biggest things that stand in my way for personal growth because I do a lot of stuff by myself. I love to be by myself. I entertain myself with my own things to do. I don't have groups of friends that I go dancing with. That isn't what I do, but I enjoy going to groups of friends that aren't my friends or that are not within my circle, but are my friends. If that makes any sense. So I, I've had to learn and at a 55 years of age, it comes to learn the importance of relationships. Um, I have a lot of good business relationships. I've been able to sell products easily because of my ability to have business relationships. But those intimate, transparent relationships are minimal in my life. And I have a hard time. I have a hard time um, when people don't have their shit together. And I, I'm, again, I'm being transparent with you. I'm not perfect. But when they're still stuck in a situation, I don't understand why people do that. So what I'm working on is looking at the importance of relationships, meeting people where they're at, giving them grace. I run a real lean program, if you, if you will, meaning I'm a, by myself a lot. Um, and I have a few really, I have like three friends that are truly from years ago, but I really appreciated the importance of, of understanding how we need to be more patient, we need to be more, um, um, what's the word? Um, uh, not accountable, a little bit more adaptable and accommodating, accommodating. So um, I just know that in the situation that I'm in with the relationships I have to build, I'm only there because there is something great prepared for me in the future. And meditation has truly helped me. And just to close, yesterday morning I woke up because work keeps getting put on us and put on us. For an example, I got three emails at 11.35 last night for us to take action on. Okay. It doesn't stop. And it's getting worse. And yesterday morning, something in my mind said, and it might have been a spirit, it might have been God, write a list of gratitudes right now. And I wrote a list of 10 gratitudes at 5 o'clock yesterday morning where I went to work. I had to. And I took it to work and I let two employees read it. And they looked at me. And I said, that's all personal development, you guys. That just spun right off my tongue. And they went, wow, Lori, you know what? I need to do this. So. Just wanted to share that, um, it, it, you know, my business is taking a back seat right now because of the time of day and the mental energy that's happening, but, but relationships are so core and that stands in my way. And so because it stands in my way, I walk towards that every day and I face that every day and I'm accountable every day because I do welcome those relationships. And ladies, I appreciate all of you. I thank all of you. Monique, thank you for setting this up for us. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of this because I need to hear all your sweet voices. Thank you all. I hope, I hope any of what I said helped you because I really believe that when we open our mouth, it's to help others. And so I hope that any, whatever I said, you could relate or in, or in a similar situation. Well, I, I think what's, it, what's, what you've got, what I, I mean, I know you don't recognize it. People don't, what am I trying to say? People aren't going to be as transparent and, and say what you just said. So that's a big deal because you recognize where you're at, what you need. And that's the first step, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know if you all agree with me. People aren't going to say that. They're just going to say, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got it. I'm fine. They're not going to admit to what they know they need in their life. So 
I, I, I mean, I applaud you for that. And I also want to, with your talk about with your boss, I mean, the whole first part of this was about how bosses act the way you just described and businesses fail because they don't loop in their team. They don't thank their team. They don't inspire their team. They just bark orders. And she talks about that. And so maybe you should give your boss this chapter. I'm just kidding. But you know, what I mean is that that's the truth. I mean, that is the reality of the real world is that people are more like that than us, than like us. And it's because we have this amazing company that fosters that personal growth, that fosters that culture of happiness, that fosters that, you know, go get them, go get them. It's about you. Let's help you. And so, you know, and I'm going to touch on this real quick because that's the difference with Neora and everybody else in the world. And that's why you all have it in your life. And Lori, if you didn't have Neora, you didn't have this, you didn't have the happiness movement, you didn't have the culture, you would be miserable. This is what keeps that okay. And you wouldn't have known to do those gratitudes. So you're, you're a step up from so many people. And so this is that's that's why we always talk about sharing this business with the people you know sharing our culture sharing what we have because there's so many people out there that need this my sister's not the only one that goes to work and has to deal with this i would probably say 80 percent of the people who have to go into the real world deal with this on a regular basis but 80 percent of the world there may be only, only a fraction that has people like us and have a company like us that uh, you know encourage us so um, not to be a Debbie Downer, but I, I found out a friend of mine, a person I met when I first moved here, she committed suicide three days ago. And um, she's in her late 30s, maybe, maybe 40, maybe 40, 41. She, and I met her because she was a waitress at a restaurant I went to. She was one of the first people in Upland to help me by sampling my products because I didn't know anybody here. And I would go visit her every weekend, maybe twice a week because I, I, she, she was a light. She was a light. She was a very nice person. But I didn't know she was going through so much. And I lost touch with her because she moved with a boyfriend. And she has three daughters. And um, I don't know what happened. I just saw it on Facebook and I reached out to, I'm like, I need to know what happened because she's been heavy on my mind for the past six months. And I've been trying to send her messages. I've been trying to get a hold of her and I have no idea what happened, but it had, it, you know, it got to that point. And um, so I, I would, there's people who are suffering that don't even, we don't even realize are suffering is my point. And, um, just keep her family in your prayers. Her sisters don't even know about it. Her parents haven't told her sisters. I don't know how they haven't told her. I guess she, cause soon as she moved, she kind of took, she, she left everybody out of her, like just forgot about everybody. I don't know. I'm not sure about all that, but um, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen to people. You just don't know. So that's why New York is so important to share because people need the positivity. People need us. People, we don't even know the lives that we touch that need us. You know, they, 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 they just need us. I don't know. I mean, the happiness part that we have that we offer is huge, huge for people's lives. So in this book overall, I think it was one of the, one of the better books we read. I, I love the fact that I think that we should really keep an eye on all of those, all of the traits and really kind of have the eye of the traits so that we know to, to kind of balance our traits because there's a lot of us who have more of one trait than the other trait and more of one trait than the other trait. But, you know, like Lori said, with the relationships, you know, she'll look at that and she'll try to foster those a little bit differently or whatever, or create more, or maybe not, maybe not, maybe she's okay with how it is, but everybody should just kind of look at that in the general theme of things. I sure to help me too. Of course. Um, so hold on. I think that was private. I don't know. Anyway. So, Anybody else? How do you, can I just get a couple more people? That's okay, Michelle, go ahead. There we go. Just quickly, the, the book was really good and especially about, you know, keeping the right people around you. And I found that as we've talked, Monique, I found that about brand partners as well. Like brand partners aren't necessarily your friends and often they're not, they're just people that decide to do the business. 
and I've had a few that, you know, after a while, we had a talk last week and I mean, I went to a talk and she said after 90 days, if they're not doing anything, you know, just walk away and when they come to you, they come to you. So mm -hmm. I've done that. And um, I've done that to a bit. And um, about the boss thing, Laureen, I had a lot of bosses when I was working in healthcare. And I always told my staff, we can outlast them. And we always could. They always moved on. <laughs> and the worse they were, the higher up they seemed they wanted to get. So they'd move on. It was always good. But anyway, so this is my new brand partner. Oh! Just a couple of games. Anyway. So I'm, he's very excited. So I'm so excited to start the business with him and his girlfriend. She's going through, her grandfather has bone cancer. So as soon as they get through that, they're gonna join up and we've had a few meetings and I'm very excited, but like, you know, like I've said, you never know. I sat next to him on a plane a year ago and just kept sending him videos occasionally saying, you know, I know you're interested in the healthcare. Here's where we are with my company. And all of a sudden he called last week and said, okay, I'm ready. I thought. Okay, who are you? <laughs> no, but anyway, it was very good. And the book, uh, it's hard to surround yourself with people that are positive when you've had friends that you've had for 20 years. And then when you get together, you realize that they're, they're not the most positive people. Like my one good friend is, when we get together, it's so much negativity. And you know, it surprises me because she's done MLN before, three times, hasn't succeeded and won't even look at this. And the fact that I'm succeeding, I think it bothers people. Well, semi-succeeding, you know what I mean? But anyway, and my person that sponsored me, she came over, she wanted to try the sunscreen and wanted to try the, the, the chews and everything else. And she's out of the business, of course. But then the negativity that came out of her, I don't want her as a customer. I, I just can't be bothered, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and then, she shared a chew with somebody who loved it, but she wouldn't share with me who that person was. I'm going, <laughs> what are you going on? <laughs> Do you know how this business works or not? So anyway, just surrounding yourself by positive people. It's so important. And we sometimes forget. Now I'm going to my one brand partner's um, RRP this afternoon at her house. Uh, she's going to have Prosecco and egg rolls because she's Asian. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so she, we're just going to have fun. So that's what I want to say. And the book has been very good. And we do need to cleanse ourselves from the, the negative people. Because yeah. uh, my mother is bad for that. She collects all the people that nobody else will be friends with. Because I'm sure it's her nursing background. She feels <laughs> sorry for them. So I'll go up home and I'll meet her friends. And I will, really? <laughs> this is another one of your little collections, Mom? <laughs> so I try not to do that. <laughs> but some of them are, yeah. So you got to remember that you're, you know, surround yourself by the right people. This book has yep. been great. Yeah. So thank you guys. And let's get on to the next one. Yep. 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 I, uh, yeah, I agree. Your mom's probably collecting Robin's throwaways. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, she is. No, she is for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's, you know, it's an in, interesting, like what you said about your friends and, and uh, I'm the same way. Like my friend, the one that I told you that is so negative. I mean, I've known her since second grade um, and I'm the godmother of her children. So I absolutely need to be in their lives because they need to see the positive part of it. Um, but there's no changing her. It never will. I'll never change her. And I don't want to change her. She's just going to be who she is, but I also don't have to stay with her all the time and see her all the time. So she knows I'm here for her. Um, but, um, okay, let's see. We got another chat. Lori, I think, is texting. Um, she, Lori ch said, I share to help me, too, because it can be lonely. Thank God for personal development. Okay. So we said, yes, it's true. I, yeah, it helps your soul. I, I mean, of course, that's why we do what we do here. And when you're talking about the RRPs, that's the other part of our business, is these RRPs keep us going with the fun, keep us going with that positivity, keep us going with good people. Because again, our business is going to attract what is supposed to be attracted and it's going to push back what we don't need. So people who say no to you in your business, that's probably a good thing because they could be that one toxic person in your business um, and you don't want that. So you, you want to know that like Bo says, you don't want everybody in your business. You also don't want everybody as a customer because if you get that one person who's a negative Nelly who be, who join who becomes a customer, 
and has one problem with shipping or has one problem with the product showing up wrong, that person's going to tell 10 of their friends for that one thing. So you don't, there are a lot of people you don't want. So when they say no, it's because the higher universe is like not allowing that because they don't want that for your business. So always keep that kind of frame of mind with that for sure. Um, so, um, okay. Anybody else? Let's see. Sharon, well, you've been quiet over here. Here, I'll get you. I got you. All right. Thanks. Um, so this was a really good book. I really enjoyed, just so you guys know, I thought I did personal development before because in real estate for 32 years, that's what we have, personal development. But I never read books like I've read in the past six months. Mm. I, I have read more books in the past six months than I have in the last five years. <laughs> um, personal development was taught to us through our real estate coaches and things like that. So I feel at this point right now, these past 32 years has been setting me up for this moment. It has taught me a lot of things. Um, and I had been struggling with, you know, trying to maintain my real estate professionalism profile and feeling like doing Yora was not being a professional to that standard. And it was, it was a, it's been a big struggle. And I realized, you know what? In real estate, I help people fulfill their dreams by putting them into a home. That was my goal there. My goal now is that some of those people cannot maintain those homes. If I could give them another angle, if I could give them another way for them to sustain and maintain that, that is what I want to do. I want to be able to give back in a different way. It always made me feel good when I was able to finally put a young couple into a house and they were so excited, it made me feel good. It did, but it only lasted for a short period of time. But I did build those relationships with them. I was taught to build those relationships, stayed in touch with them. So a lot of them were two, three, four times repeat business and we became friends. I get invited to their baby's birthday parties, mm -hmm. their weddings, you know, all those family stuff. So I know how to maintain. I just had a difficult time shifting that into a different business, but it's all business. It's all the same, no matter how you look at it. And like you said, the people who you surround yourself with is so important. And yeah, I don't need the negative people and the people who have been negative to me, they know who they are because they don't hear from me. I deleted them from Facebook and sometimes they'll comment on somebody else's, you know, how you're able to see the, the feeds when you have people that are similar and they go, oh yeah, Sharon used to be my friend, but she deleted me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you know, because of one stupid thing I said or something like that. So yeah, they know who they are. Um, and I don't need that in my life, but I do want to surround myself with all of you because you have all really helped and changed the way I perceive certain things. And so I want to thank you. And I was so happy that I was able to see all of you guys and become a little bit closer because now I feel like there's more of a bond with everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, I look forward to continuing this. And I want to help other people to have this. That is my goal now. Well, and that's the thing is that on our journey, you don't know what you need, or you don't know what you're going to get out of it. So I'm glad you were able to get out of this, what you needed, what you needed to see. So and that's the other thing. When, you know, when, we're, when we have our brand partners, you can't, you can't force them or get them to see what you want them to see because you're going to see it before them. They've got to recognize it and come to, come to their, they have to figure it out. They got to, they got to do it. And I say that because I, I knew what Sharon, I knew it was holding Sharon back, but I couldn't get her to understand it until she understood it 
for herself. And I, you know, and you did, and I knew it would come out eventually. So Thank it's you. awesome, Sharon. You're welcome. Proud of you. Um, okay, Kathy Wright, your turn, even though you're half asleep. She's half asleep from partying last night. We had an hour, we had, we had what, five guests and there's possible five customers or three, four, five customers, right? Yeah, and, and a BP, so yeah. And a BP? Oh, good. Yeah, I mentioned that. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's the one that we've been dripping on for a little while. And she's oh, good. About it, yeah. Okay, but, good, yeah. yeah. So just in response to Laureen, you know, and, and what she said, you know, I appreciate your openness, Laureen. It, it, you're just an amazing woman. I just have to tell you that because you, um, you're so candid about what you're going through. And believe me, I had a boss like that, but I was at a point in my life where I could turn her off and retire. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wish you could do that too, because I just, this woman was driving me crazy. I had never been in a situation like that. And had I, had I had the personal development back then, I might not have retired. I might have been able to just get through it and, and work it. But because uh, I didn't, you know, I just decided to throw my hat in and say, okay, see you later. Have fun. <laughs> so, but um, this book, um, the, at the very last chapters, which, when she brought up, um, you know, how do you define success? Uh, that's the part that kind of got me, uh, when it's like, what we have is a, a vehicle now to, to be successful in what we do and, and right, get rid of the negativity in our lives. And I've had a few, and I have a girlfriend now too, that that's kind of like everybody has, that has just drained me. And every, she came over the other night, she calls me up and says, what are you doing? I said, I had things I had to do. And I said, what's wrong? So she said, I need to, I need to vent. And I said, okay, come over. So she did. She came over. We spent two hours here before I had to leave to go pick my niece up at the airport. And I feel for her because her life is crap. It really is. And I feel for her, but I don't want to throw her away because I had known her for several, several years now. Um, but I wish I could reach out to her and show her what personal development's all about and I mentioned it to her and I meant she's seen she's watched the stack of books I had on the side of my table here and but the um, back to the whole success part I mean we do have the vehicle here and and she talks about being generous with our with our time and our our um what how did she put it she said the more we have in our hearts the better our future will be and I really think that is so important. It's not about the money. It's not about anything. Like, I mean, part of it, sure, it's about the money. It's nice to have that little extra, you know, mad money. But it's about kindness and about generosity. And now we have that here. Mm -hmm. And this, the, the, this is just an important part of who we are. And I see all of it. And I see a lot of it in all of us. I mean, I see it in all of us that are on this journey. And, and it's just an amazing thing to understand. And I was one of those people, you know, when you stop going to school, you figure you, you go to high school and you go to college and you learn, but then you stop learning. But this has brought me back to the fact that I, I need to, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to die happy <laughs> and die changing people's lives. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's important to me, whether it's in our business or whether or not, but just to reach out to somebody and make them understand that they can grow more, and which I, I, I don't know that I can do this with my friend. I don't really know, but I'm going to keep dripping on her and hopefully, you know, some positivity will come from my positivity with mm -hmm. her, you know, and just love on her, you know, but anyway, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Well, and then also with people like that, because of the personal development, lend her a book, lend her a couple books. Hey, take a look at this book. You may get something out of it. Hey, do you have time to read this? Take a look at it. Maybe you, maybe you'll get something out of it. Try that with her because, um, and she may not want the books, but you can try. Yeah. Yeah. That's all yeah. I can do. Yeah. Yep. I, I feel bad for her. She just really has a horrible life, but yeah. I, and I keep telling her, you know, you have a choice, you have right. a choice, you know, it's, you know, so she's like, I know, I know, but yeah, whatever, but I love her to death. And, but uh, I try not to feed on her negativity. I'm, it just, it doesn't work. It's not good. Right. Not 
good for not good for anybody. Yeah, I understand. Well, thanks, Kathy. Um, anybody else? See Solange, um, Terry. Anybody else want to share? Mm. Solange, I'm you're muted already. Yeah, um, you guys, especially you, Lorraine. Um, I think I've been in the corporate world. I know what it's like to have certain bosses. Um, and my girls get mad at me because they say, I always try to see the good in people. I really, really do always try to see the good. I always have my guard up on some people when I first meet them because I know what it's like to push people away. And I, I don't push them away. I'm, I wasn't like raised that way. I just say it. And which is not always the, one of the best things, but I do like really say it. I'm deeply, deeply grateful for all the people that have been in my life, both when I was young and now at this age. But I do have to say um, that new boss that's at, at your office, Lorraine, um, she's there for a purpose. And you got to really look at the find look and find the good in that person in order to turn the tables just a little. Because when you go into an office, I can only think of it like when I went into Studio City. A lot of Jewish, um, older people, I'm not even going to say just women, um, did not take to me easily because I was a young Black woman, the boss in that, um, in that branch. That branch made, you know, billions of dollars a year. Um, we had all kind, kinds of um, old money, new money, actors that, that were making millions and millions of, by the month. And I was responsible to make sure that that branch ran smoothly. And they would walk in and say, well, I want the boss. I go, well, I am the boss. Well, you can't be the manager. Yes, I am the manager. I'm really sorry. So you, you got to... And people don't take to me that well in the beginning. Look, look, Lorraine, you, you didn't take to me very well in the beginning. <laughs> but there's something um, with her. She has a lot to prove. And she's got to be strong. She can't take things personal. It's got to be business, business, business right now until she gets to know you guys. And you guys get to know her. So try to see the good in her and help her. Even when it hurts, you got to help her. I've, I've been there where I've had to help a boss and look at the good. And people would tell me, Solange, you're, you're blinded. No, it's not that I'm blinded. I've seen a lot of hate and I've seen a lot of love. And people that um, they're grateful, but they're, they don't see the light all the time. And sometimes we're put in, in a position to help them see it and vice versa. So I've had a lot of really, really good people. I've had to, to push people away and say, you know what, this, this is not what I want for my daughters. This is not what I want for my life. And if you don't understand it, too bad, but this is, this is what I'm going to do. And um, this, this book has been truly amazing. And it's, it's funny because I reading through it, I still, I find myself laughing about like little things that have happened throughout my life, both young and old, um, especially as a parent, um, as a corporate person and as a wife. And so it's, it really tugs at your heart and your mind. So um, I think we're in a good place. And, and this, I've never done personal development and had to talk about it. So when I'm not talking to you guys, I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to my husband. And um, it's, I normally hold it for me and just talk to 
nowadays, I talk to little people <laughs> and I talk <laughs> to my daughters. They're the closest people in my life right now. Mm-hmm. And um, every step of our life, we have to look at both personally and professionally um, what we're grateful for and what we want in our life, where we're going. And sometimes it's not, most of the time it's not about the money. It's it's about life and our heart and, and the people we surround ourselves with. Yep. So, yep. And, and I have some really close people that I don't even call, but every once in a blue moon now because they they don't see it and no matter how much you try to drip on them good things they they just don't see it yeah they're ignorant and you can't you can't you can love them from a distance and i always say that i love you from a distance i just can't be with you all the time i just can't do it Mm -hmm. that's all i have that's awesome guys that's awesome, Solange. Thank you for all that input. I, I, I appreciate it. I'm sure Lori does too. I, you know, that's what that's why we all give value to this group. We all are valuable because we all have different different life experiences, different just differences. I mean, we're, we all grew we all had different journeys. And so sharing those journeys with each other helps us in different aspects of our life that we didn't even know were gonna was possible. And that's what that's why this is so incredible. This is so incredible. And um, I'm going to see if anybody else wants to talk. Terry, do you want to talk? Do you want to share anything, Terry? <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got on late. I was so tired yesterday. I actually took it, like, after I was done working, I took a, a nap. And then, of course, I was up late because then I couldn't sleep. Been a little exhausting this week. So, sorry I was late. Um, so, I don't know what I missed. But um, <clears throat> the relationship uh section was very good the whole book was good but um you know uh Monique you know I had an experience we had an experience yesterday with a brand partner um and I got to actually have that experience of the difference that we make in people's lives and that um people that need us or that we need maybe we need them we need them as much as they need us let's put it that way but there are people out there that need what we have and we don't know it when we meet them. And uh, this person is actually having a career going back into their career. So it's going to be possibly difficult for them to do this business right now, but we were happy for her. And, um, but she expressed some things that made me feel really, um, it was a good feeling to know that we made a difference. And uh, I didn't really know that over this last Oh, it's been a little over a year, and um, she expressed it, and it was really, uh, I don't know, it was very satisfying to know that we're not just throwing our goodness to the world, and it's it's nice to know it's being received well by some mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. and um, that was a really nice experience yesterday. It really was, it was warm fuzzy, <laughs> right? Yep. That's yes. just all I have to say about that. So it just, it, it kind of falls into the whole relationship thing. And, you know, you build relationships with people that you, you, I never, we never knew, I never knew her before. She wasn't like somebody I dripped on for years. And apparently at the beginning, I res my why resonated with her. So sharing our whys is, you know, super important. Mm-hmm. That really uh, validated that for me yesterday. So, Anyway, that's kind of all I have to say. Awesome. Thanks. Um, but yeah, you don't know until, well, and that's part of this chapter too. It says, don't forget to thank people. Don't forget to show gratitude towards the people who've done, had positive impact or who do things, you know, just say thank you. Not because you want something back, but just say thank you. Because like what, like when she said what she said to you yesterday, um, you had no idea, but look at what it made you think about like, wow, I didn't even realize I had that impact the entire year. But what if you would have known that in the beginning and you would have continued this journey with her for the year, knowing that you make an impact, your impact may have been bigger. Do you know what I mean? So we need to also remember that too, is thank the, thank the people in our lives that do something for us or make a difference or challenge us or whatever, whatever it is. Um, But 
Thank you, Terry, for sharing. Um, I, Judy, I don't know if you're at work, but Judy, did you want to share anything, Judy? I don't want to leave you out. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, there she is. Yeah, sorry. I am at work, but um, I'm a little behind on the book because unfortunately with work and everything, but as far as like relationship goes, you know, it's, I've had to learn things the hard way, unfortunately. And one of those hard things were cutting people off, you know, um, just to make the long story short, I've gone through a lot of things from losing uh, family members, two family members back to back to going through being broke as broke can possibly go. And it wasn't until a couple of years I've had like this, um, I want to say self-reflection thing to thankfully to God, but it made me cut out a lot of people to the point where my kids say, I'm anti-social now, but it's because it, you don't need negativity. Like if you really wanted to put yourself in a bad position, you can do that on your own. Honestly, you don't need anybody to help you that. And I'm not here. Like I tell my kids to, feel pity on myself or anything i'm here to win i already been but rock bottom all is left is to go up and if that is part of that is cutting people who are no good to you i mean hey you have to do what it's, you have to do and sometimes certain people are hard to cut off but because of that um self-reflection self-change i don't let them you know like for example my family members i have family members who are you know, kind of negative in some sense, and you feel bad for them and everything, but thanks, you know, thankfully that doesn't hurt me or touch me in, in any way. I give them my advice, and I tell them either to take it or leave it and just keep going, because at the end of the day, if I don't worry about myself being, nobody will, and so that's one of the things I've had to learn when it comes to relationships, so, um, and, you know, I'm thankful for God for all the things I've learned, and hopefully in the future, I can keep going the way I'm going and perceiving, especially in this business, because I do have faith that I'm going to be get to where I need to go. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Judy. And we're, you know, I, I'm proud of you because you are one of the newest brand partners and you are making it a decision to be a part of this group and to be here to listen to everybody. So I'm proud that you make that decision because that means that you know you're in the right place and you need people like this. And so I'm glad that we could be a part of that for you. Um, and so uh, I, I'm excited about you guys, you and Sharon. I think it's this weekend, right? Today is the party, Sharon? Is it today or tomorrow? I can't, hold on. What? Tomorrow. 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 So Sharon's going to Judy's um, ch ch daughter. Daughter's birthday? Daughter's okay daughter's birthday. daughter's birthday daughter's birthday party so um their family doesn't know new york is going to make their presence <laughs> new york is making their presence at that birthday party tomorrow <laughs> um and 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 it's going to be fun it's gonna be great i think it's gonna be a great experience for both of you, for, for both of you to see together and have fun and just be just be be each other's friend um so okay so i'm gonna say thank you to everybody for reading this book getting I just through thought, this Go ahead. I'm sorry. This is Lorene. I, I, I need to say this because I'm so extremely proud of Judy. To recognize she hit rock bottom and there's nowhere else to go but up. To be able to recognize that is, couldn't be the most magical moment for you, Judy, because you have a vehicle. It's only going to do that for you. And the most amazing sponsor, Sharon, with the double Dutch, fantastic Monique. <laughs> you can't go wrong. You're only going to go wrong if you, if you give up on yourself and you don't believe in yourself. And so that's why Sharon's there. She's the training wheels. And I get emotional because that's a breakthrough that you could be rock bottom and nowhere to go but up. That's a breakthrough. And, and I'm an extremely, like, I, I feel people's pains. There's a word for it. Kathy Prishon knows the name of it. And that's why I'm teared up. I think I'm, your, I think I'm giving you your tears right now. Um, but I just want to, I, I need to celebrate that with you. We all are celebrating that with you right now. And tomorrow when you guys get to show the New York culture, and even if you say zero about New York, they're going to see a change in you. And that's what the attraction is going to be. So I had to say that to you. I, my heart just had to share that. So thanks for letting me interrupt and share that. 
I'm sure she appreciated that. Thanks. And, and you you know, Lori, you're right, because people who get to that point, they just give up. You know, there's a lot of people who just give up and they just say, oh, well, but Judy didn't do that. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm proud of her too. So Michelle, you had something to say. It sounded like you're wrapping up. I was going to tell you to take the picture. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at your, oh, goodness, Terry, she beat you. I was going to take a picture. Hold on. Terry always reminds me. She's been slacking lately, though. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for picking up her slack. She's tired. She's been traveling too much. All right. Hold on. Uh, okay, every smile. Let's see. Oh, Kathy Prashaw, we got to do it again. You were looking down. Hold on. Okay, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. All right, I gotcha. Um, all right, everybody, let me stop the recording real quick.